Mia, is the camera on? You know the camera's on. You just uh, click the button. I No, I can't see it. I'm incredibly old. What are we doing? Right. Yes, it's, uh... This is stuff and things. Hi, Mia. And... And I've forgotten my name. You know your name! Right, it's Dan! Well, I guess that's enough of that. Um, as we get older, everyday things tend to get a bit harder. Now, we may be just a couple of youngins, but we do understand that one day, we won't be able to hop around or go for a jog. These things we do every day, like getting out of bed and walking to the bus stop, can become almost impossible. And the worst thing to happen is being completely alone and falling without anyone to help you. This happens all too often in nursing homes, and we totally need to fix this. Some researchers from Simon Fraser University here in Vancouver decided to try and figure out all the reasons why seniors fall. And their findings show it's a bit different than what we thought. The previous assumption was that seniors were either slipping or tripping, but that doesn't quite seem to be the case. The number one reason for falls was simply them shifting their weight improperly, therefore messing up their center of gravity, and falling, and this actually accounted for 41% of the falls recorded. Tripping on a chair or table leg was 25%, and just simply stumbling was about 21%. And that slip that we're all worried about was only 3%. There are a few things we can take away from this study, and one of these is we need to get our seniors performing some type of coordinated workout more often. It only makes sense that as you age, your body doesn't want to respond in the same way it used to when you were young. And if you don't pay enough attention to the changes, the study shows what happened. The study also highlighted that there could be some improvements made for current devices for seniors, like wheelchairs having automatic brakes. The study provides a great starting point to hopefully just making lives of our elders much safer so you know we can keep them around for longer and actually enjoy their company and their wisdom they can provide to us. And, of course, stop wasting a crap ton of money on constantly fixing them when we could just stop them from getting hurt in the process. It's a win-win. But, you know, the company and stuff's very important as well. So let us know what kind of workouts would you suggest for the seniors. Maybe some Tai Chi or some other type of martial art. Maybe just some time knee boxing or something like that. Let us know in the comments down below. And if you liked what you see today, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you next week, possibly on the weekend with some vlogs.